This Tale the Tape for our main event is brought to you by Modelo Brute. For those with a fighting spirit, John Jones and Alexander Gustafson, both 31 years of age. Gustafson, the taller man by one inch. But John Jones will have the five and a half inch reach advantage. All right, now to get you the introductions for our headliner, we turn it over to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening, presented by Modelo, sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, Commissioner John Carvelli, Executive Officer Andy Foster. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Sal Yamato, Christopher Lee, and Junichiro Camillo. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Mike Beltran. This championship bout is sponsored by Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. And Metro by T-Mobile. Get unlimited high-speed data all month long on the same network as T-Mobile. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around world. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Soul Out Forum in Los Angeles, California. It's time! Five rounds for the vacant UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a big martial artist holding a professional record. 18 wins, four losses. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at two and a four and one half pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, presenting the number two light heavyweight contender in the world, Alexander the Baller. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a look C2 fighting style fighter, holding a professional record, 22 wins, one loss, one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 204 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, by way of Endicott, New York, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion and the number one light heavyweight ranked contender in the world, John Paul Jones! <laughs> all right, John, we've been over the rules already. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Just goes now if you want. Come on out and handle your business. Let's go. The rematch is upon us. John Jones, Alexander Gustafson. One man will soon be the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion. This is a belt that John Jones defended a record eight times. All right, gentlemen, first round. You better fight. You better fight. Head up, let's go. And Alexander Gustafson looking to become a first time UFC champion. The fight clock brought to you by Modelo Brew for those with a fighting spirit. Gustafson is in black, John Jones is in white. Watch the teep kick to the knees. That's what Jones would use in the past in order to keep the distance where he wanted it. John immediately used that wrenching motion on the elbow of Gustafson that he used on Glover Teixeira to wreck his shoulder. Alex said that he's got to faint more in order to take away those knees, those teep to the knees that Jones throws on everybody. He's got to faint more and be in and out with jabs. See if he can use stop, that. Stop, stop, turn, turn! Turn! Get on that side of the Get on that side! You good? Hey, pick it up, all right? Keep it clean, let's go! Strong warning there from Mike Beltran for the low strike. Yeah, we're gonna get a chance to see it. It looked very low. John was saying it was the inside of the thigh, but we'll, we'll take a look at it in between rounds if it's if it's an issue. Gustafson has stopped a couple takedown attempts early, came in with a takedown defense north of 85%. Alex 
said, last time I fought him, I only threw one twos. I didn't throw enough combinations. I need more long-ended combinations. See if he can make that happen in this matchup. Good knee to the body there by Gustafson. Gustafson appeared to land. Jones counters. Two minutes gone by here in round one. Jones sticks to the body there. As the fight moves on, Alex sometimes ducks when you grab his head. He ducks down into the knees, and I think Jones is reaching for his head, trying to get Alex to duck down into that knee. We've seen it twice now. It's an old habit if you watch Alex on film. If you grab his head, he ducks right down into it. Jones got a lot of different looks in training, different sparring partners. Chief among them, Leonid Grachev, number three ranked super heavyweight boxer in the U.S. Oh, lead elbow from James Lands. And a nice front kick to the body as well. And that's what he does better than almost anybody, is he can elbow you from the outside like he's throwing a punch. He gets you to, th he gets you to think that you're gonna parry his, his right, or his left hand, and then he comes over the top of your parry with an elbow. Very slick, Jones. Another thing that he's doing is you're seeing him grab Alex immediately with underhooks so that he can't throw his boxing combination. Those are the little adjustments right now we're seeing from Jones so far. As usual, Gustafson continuing to switch up the footwork moves as well as any light heavyweight. He's faking. I'd like to see Alex go to the body more and then work up top from there. Jones in on a single. Needs a whizzer. Alex needs a whizzer. Nice. He threatened the guillotine. Good work on there. Watch on the break. John likes to elbow on the break. Good defense from both gentlemen there. Gustafson lands there to the body, one minute now to go round one. Gustafson looking for the trip there. Jones continuing to circle towards Gustafson's right. going on right now. There's been a lot of weird tricks you guys have been throwing already. Keep things offset. Guessing. Good kick to the body by Jones. And, what's, and that's right when Alex switches. That shuts off the switch of Alex, so he doesn't want to switch stance. He's Jones, the more efficient striker in round one. Now here's the low blow. Let's take a look at it real quick. Yeah, right in there. It was on the inside of the thigh, but definitely made contact with the cup. And here's that elbow from the outside by John Jones. Slow down. Just feel that waterfall. Feel that water starting on your head, going all the way down your body. Calming you down. Calming you down. Listen. You gotta keep the pressure on him, just like you're doing. Even when he denies the takedown, you're still winning. Understand me? But don't force the takedown. You're trying to force it. I gotta get him down. Just relax a little bit. Flow, pop, pop. It'll be there if you just relax and flow. Stop popping eyes all day long, John Jones. I want that body. Hit that body. Right, 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 right. The unauthorized reproduction or distribution of this copyright work is illegal and punishable under law. Dom, your thoughts on the message there from Greg Jackson and Mike Winkle John to their pupil John Jones. Well, to me, they trust his uh, his natural abilities, they trust his instincts, so they're just keeping him calm, keeping his heart rate low, making sure that 
he stays calm. And as you saw in that first round, John Jones never, ever looked panicked, never, ever looked like he was exploding. He was just nice and easy, and that's what they're trying to do here for five rounds. Smartson takes the center of the octagon here for round two. Jones with an early attack to the midsection of Gus. Gus needs to let his hands go. He needs to start throwing more combinations to the body and then finish up top. Nice body kick and an inside leg kick by Jones. And I agree with you, Gustafson's got to open up with his hands. He's got excellent boxing. We really saw that in the Glover to Chera fight. Well, that's what John does so well is he makes your hands non-existent by attacking your legs so you can't move forward into the hands range. Right there, he throws those kicks, he throws the teep kicks to the body, he throws elbows, and it keeps you from being able to use your boxing. Because the kick range, he keeps you at kick range. Jones outlanding Gus by a two to one margin thus far. Alex just gotta get in that boxing range. That's, and he can't get there. So that's been the issue so far. And there's a knee on the break by John. John's taking advantage of these opportunities where Alex isn't. Alex has got to get his head into this. It seems to me that he's waiting on John a bit. But he can't get the rhythm because he can't get in reach of, to use his hands. He's, John's doing a good job keeping him at kick range, so Alex is a boxer. He needs to be in boxing range. There was a right hand by Alex that got through. Now Gus starting to open up a little bit. There it is. And we're seeing less teep kicks from Jones this round, so it's allowing him to get his feet underneath him a little better. Oh, that was beautifully placed. Yeah, nasty kick to the body. He's having a lot of success with that left kick to the body from that southpaw stance. Stop, touch! Oof. Yeah, it's nasty. Hey, stand over here. You got time. Work it out. Okay, Johnny? You good? I'm just going to have to talk to check it out real quick, okay? Stay right there. Alex also looks very calm, though. And, and that's. You're good to go, right? They're both very well matched. Good to go. Okay, let's go. Hey, watch your fingers. All right, I'm not gonna have that tonight. You understand? Watch your fingers, Johnny. Watch your fingers as well. All right. You good? You good? Both of you, watch your fingers. Ready? Fight. Let's go. Mike Beltron, Furman, warning Alexander Gustafson. Just over three minutes here in round two of a possible five. Since opening up, and John Jones with a kick to the body. But that's what we want to see from Gustafs. There it is. There's a nice left hand. He's starting to get his rhythm. You see, you see Alex. He starts hopping on his feet more. He starts piecing combinations together. He's in and out more. That's when he's getting on rhythm. Jones working on that lead leg of Gustafson, who misses with an elbow counter. Pressure by Gustafson, but he's having a hard time reaching John here. It's a kick range. A lot of face, a lot of head movement. John John's Alexander. John showing good footwork too here. Moving well, side to side, switching stance. Alex is on him right now, keeping the pace the way he needs to, keeping the pressure. That's what he needs to do the fight right here the entire time. Yeah, and John is not enjoying going backwards constantly like this. This will, oh, Ooh. nice leg kick. Strong kick by John. And you see, anytime Alex switches to southpaw, he gets caught. That's what Alex does. He attacks the second Alex switches stance so that he can't switch on him. Like John partially caught Gustafson on the way in. 90 seconds to go in the round. Not surprisingly, big discrepancy in terms of the time spent advancing. But that does not necessarily mean you're winning. 
John looked low and kicked high there. Ooh. Oh, he hurt him with that one. Well, that's what he's doing. He he's him. switching up the kicks. He goes low, he goes high, he goes teep kick, oh. he goes knee, he goes elbow. Different looks always, and each each strike sets up the next one. And right now we got Alex, he's got to let his hands go more. I think Alex's left leg is hurt. He's moving kind of funny on it, and he took a hard inside leg kick. Taking a lot to the shin as well. Yeah. And that right hand landed heavy for Alex. Right behind John's ear. Jones working off the jab out of the orthodox stance now. Alex does need to be careful with that leg, though. You're exactly right, Joe. Yeah, he can only take so many shots. Correct. Steps in. break from John Jones. Some swelling under that left eye of Alexander Gustafson now. Trying to blink it out a bit. Ten minutes in the can, we will follow Alexander Gustafson into the blue corner. You saw an obvious win. You might have heard him with that kick to the body. And a good right hand over the top by Gustafson. And here is that spinning back kick to the body. There's the kick to the inside. And we see there, there's, there's definitely a little bit of a limp to his step. Okay, they didn't have the spinning back kick, but at the end of the round, it, it appeared that that kick to the body hurt Gustafson. They were icing the back of the right leg of Gustafson, but his shin on the left side is significantly swollen from the kick you just saw. So we'll see how that affects Gustafson's mobility. Here in round three. Yeah, there might be something going on with his right leg if they did that, because we didn't see that. Nice stick there by Gustafson. But he has landed just 29% of his strikes unofficially thus far. The big difference in this fight has really been the leg kicks. Good entry there by Jones. He gets his first take on top. Elbows by Jones. Jones got Alex in half guard. He's got that leg clamped down. He's got Alex flat on his back. Alex needs to get to his right hip and dig that left underhook up. Get that frame off of his chin. Push that by, get towards the hips. He's also tying up that arm and forcing Gustafson to be in that position where he can darse him. He's too low. He's low on, on Alex's hips. Alex needs to bump his hips a little, pull him up top towards his head so he can get down, get that leg out of there. As long as that John hooks that leg, he's not getting up. John's reaching back, maintains that position in half guard. He stepped over, side control for John Jones. Slide that arm through for the crucifix. Drops down a nasty elbow. Now he's got a half Nelson here to keep Alex from bellying out. He wants to keep him from bellying out. Now he's going to throw his hook in. He's going to take side. his back. He's going to take Alex's back. This is a bad position for Alex. He's got to scramble out of here. Oh, big oh. shot. Big shot by John Jones. Gustafson's in a lot of trouble here. Gustafson's in trouble. That's John it. Jones has That's regained it. the throne. Wow. John Jones stops Alexander Gustafson in round three. And he is once again the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion. Masterfully done to potentially cap his rivalry here with Alexander Gustafson. This fight replay is brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. A nice embrace there by the rivals, John Jones and Alexander Gustafson. They went 25 hard minutes last time. Tonight, John Jones proving to be far too much for the number two ranked contender, Alexander Gustafson. We see here, John times a beautiful takedown, gets it, and from there he's able to progress to half guard, start landing big elbows right away so that he can move up the body. Once he passes half guard, gets to side mount, he goes to the crucifix position, lands some huge elbows. This forces Alex to try to belly out. John then goes to the half Nelson, as you see here, to try to keep Alex from bellying out. Then he's able to throw that left hook in and keep Alex bellied out to where he can just start unloading big punches right there. 
and this is the end that you're watching right here. Just too many big punches, too much top pressure from Jones, and he gets a finish. Very nice fight from John Jones. Great technique. Progressionally just took every position step by step until he got the finish. Beautiful matchup. And Alexander Gustafson had some great moments in this fight, just not quite enough. Johnny Bones remains the standard at 205 pounds. He's a man who thrives under all sorts of different forms of pressure, pressure situations. You see the swelling on that left shin of Alexander Gustafson, and he's certainly going to be disappointed in this effort here tonight, but clearly he ran into the better man. The official decision brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Get unlimited high-speed data all month long on the same network as T-Mobile. One final time tonight, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mike Beltran has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, two seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC right heavyweight champion of the world, John. John Jones, welcome back. What's up, man? Thank you so much. How are you, Joe Rogan? I'm good, sir. How are you doing? Oh, man, I'm doing uh, God is so good. After all the pressure, all the chaos, everything that has happened in your life up to this moment, how good does it feel to be back, to be victorious, and to have that UFC gold around your waist right now? Hey, you know what? Without God, I am absolutely nothing. All glory be to God. Um, Man, with that being said, man, this is great. This is a great feeling. Uh, I want to thank my beautiful fiance, Jessie, man. She is, she has, uh, man, she really helped me get through this one and, and all the fights. Uh, just so strong. My coaching staff, Greg Jackson, Mike Winklejohn, Izzy Martinez, Roberto Alencar, my man Aaron, Brandon Gibson, Tusa, Lauren, Lawrence, uh, my swim coach, Jessie. I mean, I'm, I'm really a product of the beautiful people around me. One of my best friends, Tule, Ali G, my, my team. Man, I, I just got a great group of men around me, mighty men. I'm a product of all of them. What did it feel like stepping into the octagon tonight? Was there any difference? What was the pressure like? Uh, you know, the different, oh, Leo. My man, Leo, my boxing partner. You know, I, man, the first time I fought Alexander, I, I stayed in his punching range. And, uh, and the main difference was I was aware of how far away I was at all times. Alexander did some great combinations, but if you really go back and watch the fight, uh, he landed very few punches on my face tonight. And that was just from a greater sense of uh, understanding. I really think our team is the most dangerous team, especially when we get a rematch. Well, let's take a look at the final finish, John, and enjoy your handiwork. You, you got him down to the ground, and then during the scramble, you wound up taking his back Talk us through this right here. Yeah, man, that's that's Gracie Baja Jiu Jitsu and uh, Kaido Jiu Jitsu. Uh, just, you know, Alexander Gustafson, he's the type of guy where if he can get up quick, he does well. If you can hold him down past 30 seconds, you're more than likely gonna be keeping him down. We knew that, so the idea was to get back to wrestling, getting that right in time. And then after you get that right in time, start looking for ground and pound and submissions. And, Everything worked out. Now, John, there's been a lot of talk about you potentially fighting as a heavyweight, defending your light heavyweight title, becoming a two-division champ. What are your thoughts now? What would you like to do next? Man, I know there's a guy who's been calling himself champ champ. <laughs> I mean, what guy just gives up his belt because somebody else made it home? Daddy's home, DC. Prove to the fans you're a champ champ. Come get a taste. I'm here. Get your belt back. It'll be waiting right here. Congratulations, John Jones. John Jones!
ladies and gentlemen.